Hi! Welcome back! Besides watching movies, or talking about weird historical things, I like to do makeup. Boom, 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 boom. Examples. So, I have done makeup for many years, but this will be my first makeup video I'm doing, so join me on this awkward journey. Valentine's Day is coming up in less than a week, so I was thinking of doing a Valentine's Day makeup. Um, one version will be kind of a glam makeup, and the other with some special effects stuff going on. So the inspirations for this look are this, 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 kind of a combination of all of those plus some special effects. So. I guess this is it. Ah, <laughs> uh, I wish you were hurting so fucking awkward, buddy. So, we're just starting off with no makeup. So, we're gonna start by putting my hair back so it can just work with the whole face. How I do my everyday makeup is not really how a lot of YouTubers do their makeup. Um, I do mine on a budget and how I like to do it. So let's start with foundation. No moisturizer or anything, no primer. I'm not going out with this look. It's 715. So what I use for foundation, I've been shaking up is the NYX Total Control Drip Foundation in porcelain because I am very white. So what I do is just kind of drip it along my face. And because this is a kind of not wearable look, like everyday look. I know I said an everyday makeup, but this is more for like a video. I'm adding a bit more. So that is more full coverage. So then I just take my foundation brush. Kind of get the ears in on the action. Good. Okay. Foundation on. So now that I have foundation on, what I'm going to do is take these little heart cutouts that I made and put them where I want the like stencil to be. I'm doing this before doing any contour or highlight or anything because I want to keep it this foundation shade. So I'm making sure all of the sides are packed down so nothing gets over them. Yes. Now I want to do contour, but instead of doing normal contour, I am going to go in with this shade, Zombie, from the LA Splash Classic Horror Collection. If you feel bad about not cleaning your brushes, just look at this brush cleaner wipe that I used to clean out this brush. Oh, it's packed with green. I don't clean out my brushes. I'm kind of just like gently wiping this onto the pink to pick some up. And then we're going to see what that looks like. Ooh, we got some pink going on. Ooh, fun. Okay. Okay, yeah, I can drive with this. So I did the cheekbones, so now I'm going to do the same thing, but around my forehead. I 
and then I'm just gonna go under the chin and do a bit of contour with this there. Now what I'm going to do is kind of deepen up those spots with this red shade here, 13th, from the same palette. Ooh, that's gonna be a whole lot darker. Oh, get ready, this is gonna be dark. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is the nose contour. I want this one to be strongly pink, so I'm going in with that same pink shade and just doing a strong contour. So next, instead of doing like the concealer kind of highlighter, because I have these stencils on my face, I am just going to go in with some shimmer highlighter. For this, I want more of a pinky color, so I'm using this sweet and shimmer highlighter that my mom got me for Christmas that kind of has that like peachy undertone. It's more of like a stick highlighter that I'm just going to use my fingers to blend in. See? Ooh! More of a shimmer there. So, I think we are good and highlighted for that. Yes! The neck will also be part of this look, so what I am going to do is go with that same pink color from this, and we're just going to kind of like contour out the strong neck features with that. Boom, boom, boom. Weird neck stuff. So next I want to go over these uh, stencils with some pink. I'm using a fluffy brush. This is, as you will learn from this video, I really like the company Storybook Cosmetics. Um, the current palette I am using, the Burn Book palette, which I will use for my eyes, is from Storybook Cosmetics. The brushes I will be using, the Harry Potter wand brushes, the uh, face brushes that I use are from them. I really like the brand. So what I'm doing now is I'm picking up this like deep pink shade here Wednesday from the Burn Book palette and I'm just going to kind of blend this color around the stencil kind of really making those lines stand out. Time for the eyes. So I'm just going to do my normal eyebrow look. Which I have been blessed with some bushy eyebrows. So I don't need a lot. I just kind of 
pluck and shave off the tails of them and draw those in later and then I just fill in the brows like normal. That's all I do for eyebrows. Because I want this look to pop, I am going to do some eye primer. I always do eye primer because I have very oily lids. So if I just wear eyeshadow and eyeliner, it will crease up in my eyeball and it doesn't look pretty. <laughs> I'm going to use You Can't Sit With Us, which is a peachy color from this, and blend that out far past the crease, kind of into the brow bone. Now what I'm going to do is take just a little bit of Wednesday and go into the crease very lightly because we're going to just dark it up later on. See what I mean when I say you don't need a lot? That really just adds a lot of color. This is just like a slight dab into the color, but I'm going to blend that out. Taking a packing brush, I'm going to go in with... She doesn't even go here! Take some of this. This is kind of a purpley color. And we are going to do the outer corner and the inner corner of our eyeballs. Same brush. Going back into Wednesday, taking a bit of that and kind of going more inside, this is hard to describe, where you ended with she doesn't even go here, add a bit of Wednesday. We are using Regina George next, which is this like peachy shimmery color. Um, I find using brushes don't work for shimmer shades if you want like a lot of pigment. But if you want it to really like pop, I use my middle finger to just kind of pick that up and then dab it on my eyes, and then I can just like blend it out with my finger. Get our um, blendy brush back on the side of it. Take a bit of, uh, she doesn't even go here, and just kind of swipe that up above that. So, we have the tops of the lids done, now we're going underneath. So, I'm going to take this rounded and kind of more tightly packed uh, brush and we're going to start with some You Can't Sit With Us. Pick some of that up and start going underneath the eye. Now, I'm not going very close to the waterline with this one because other colors will be blended out into this. So I'm just kind of starting further away from here and blending that out. And then we're going to use a bit of Wednesday.
And then to finish that off, we are going back into, she doesn't even go here. Okay, look at that. We got some eyes going on, huh? So next will be eyeliner. And what I'm using is the Tarte. Oh, you can't really see that. It's shiny. The Tarte Amazonian Clay with the, no surprise, uh, Storybook Cosmetics eyeliner. So, I'm just going to... Now, just to preface this, this eye is always my good eye. This eye, I can do a wing, like one, two, and done. This eye struggles a bit more, and I'm sorry, that is the one that is facing the camera more. I apologize for that, but we are... I'm gonna do my best. Now, I don't typically um, line my lower lashes. I find that makes my eyes look smaller, so I'm not doing that, but you can if you want to. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay. I want to put, taking Regina George again, just a little bit, I want to put some on the inner corner. Just make that pop. There we go. And then I'll take some more of that and kind of just go over my brow bone with that. Blend that into the eyeshadow you already have there. There we go. That's kind of a highlight on the eyes. Next, what I'm going to do is the little dots across my face. So what I'm going to do is take a red liquid lipstick and then with a brush just do the dots across it. And what I'm using is the LA Splash Classic Horror Frankie color. It's a very like classic red, which is why I am using that. With a detailing brush, I'm just going to take some of the product from the lipstick and then we're just gonna make dots all over my face. So I wiped the red off of that brush, and now I'm using the Storybook Cosmetics um, Fantasy Liquid Lipstick to do some of the pink dots. Now, I don't have a white liquid lipstick, but I do have this um, NYX White Liquid Liner, which I'm going to use for the white dots. So now that we have that done, we can peel off our heart stencils that we have on our face. So here we go. We have oh, that one there. We have a nice heart. And then the other side. There we go. Look at that. Look at how nice that looks. Cute. Now I'm going to move on to the lips, which should be the last stage of just the beauty makeup. So what I think I'm going to do now is take some concealer, go on the inside of the lips, and then I'm going to put some pink to do some ombre type effect. There we go. So now it's just lashes and then hair and we're done with the beauty look. Okay. So I put my lashes on off camera so I can make sure I got it right. There is the finished look for the beauty part of this. Okay, so we have that done. So now let's get into the special effects stuff, which means I have to take all this stuff off again. 
So what I'm thinking is having some arrows kind of like piercing through me like I have been shot by Cupid. I have liquid latex and some unrolled cotton balls and we are going to use that to build up a base for where we want the different arrows to be and then hopefully stick them in and try to get them to bounce up. We'll see. I did a look with playing cards. Boom. And the hardest part was just getting them to stick up and not falling over. So we're just going to be like holding it there while the latex dries. So let's see. We're going to do the first one on the neck. So what I have here is very fancy. We have a plastic plate with a plastic spoon and we are just going to take this and coat where we are going to put the latex. So now I'm just taking the bundle of cotton and putting that on the latex. Let's see if I can hold this up. There we go, that works. And then with some more latex, using this as kind of like a spatula, just patting that down. Now you want these edges to be flat, so pay attention to the outside of the cotton. So I kind of like dug up into what I already had on the cotton and I'm going to hold this here and then I'm going to build up some of the cotton underneath it to try to support this up. I'm kind of using the cotton that's underneath this as a support like a sling of sorts to keep the arrow up a bit to the next one. So now that all of my liquid latex is dry, I'm going to go in with my finger, just kind of dropping my foundation onto the different spots and spread it around with that just in case. I really don't like to ruin my brushes because of um, liquid latex. I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be back with that all blended out. Now, as you can see, the areas where I have the cotton is still kind of lighter than the rest of my skin tone. That's because it's foundation on top of white instead of foundation on top of skin color. But what's gonna save that, because I don't really wanna like go in with sponges or anything, is the blood. So, what I'm gonna do first, let me get my sponge. So I'm gonna take this stippling sponge and some theatrical makeup and stipple that around the cotton areas. That's gonna break up any of the edges. I just kind of coat the top of it with the blood. The stage blood has a little like brush on the end of it so I just kind of brush that across the edge and then just stipple that around. This is a light coat first and then as we get closer to the middle 
it's going to be a higher concentration of blood. Now to get the blood a bit thicker around it, I am going to use this Halloween store vampire blood that comes in a tube. I kind of just squeeze it out. Let's see what it let's see it like squeeze it out onto the stippling brush and then spread it out on top. We get more gore in there. So I finished that up. What I'm doing now is taking that same vampire blood and a little spatula. I got this from a Halloween makeup kit, but you can still use that um, the end of the plastic spoon, you can use a plastic knife, whatever. Improvise. But what I'm doing is taking a bit on the end. I'm gonna like spread it on the end of here and then I wanna kind of coat these arrows with a bit of blood. Okay, now that's done. So what I did was just kind of scrape the blood along the arrows and then also um, kind of drip it down each of the sticks so that you got some blood drippage happening. To finish off the gore, I am taking some scab blood, which is kind of like congealed blood. As you can see, it makes it all goopy and stuff. I'm going to put that like where the arrows are coming out of and kind of along kind of add some some jelly to it i will finish putting this on and i'll be back with the wig and then we will have our finished look and i am back with our finished look Oh, I'm getting blood in my hair. That's a hazard of working with fake blood. You get blood in your hair. So, here we go. Here's our look. So, I guess, happy Valentine's Day if you're like me and you're alone for the holiday. Um, go out and do something for yourself. You deserve it. Thanks for watching. Bye.